This film doesn't really have any relation to the previous film at all. Dread is a character in a British comic, 2000 AD. I grew up reading it. It was, it was a reference to that. It was born from that. If we play this right, we can take the whole city. It was a hard film to make. It's essentially a British independent movie that in some ways gives you lots of freedoms. We had a lot of creative freedom, which was fantastic. We could just get on and make it the way we really wanted to make it. Sit tight, or run. Makes no difference, you're mine. I play Anderson, Cassandra Anderson. She's a, um, in the world of the comics, she was actually a, a prominent character and she ended up getting her own spin-off called Anderson PSI. She's a uh, judge who has psychic abilities, mutant psychic abilities. <laughs> 800 million people living in the ruin of the old world. Only one thing fighting for order in the chaos. We were working at a budget level that was really hugely under the way you'd make a film like this if you were making it more conventionally. Um, this could easily be an 80, 90 million dollar movie. And in effect, what we try to do is we try to punch above our weight. And, um, and Dread is an attempt to do that, I guess. Learning how to roundhouse kick was a big, big obstacle, which I'm proud to say I did finally overcome. But it took many weeks of practicing every single day before I could even imitate the motions of a roundhouse kick properly. And then um, the real challenge came when I had to do the roundhouse kick with the costume on, because that was a, a add a five pound boot and 10 pounds of resistance in every direction. And a roundhouse kick is like next to impossible. <laughs> Over. The sentence is death.